Hello? Ideal Homes is here, or this? Doesn't matter how I will take it, it will be me anyway. Ideal Homes or me, it will be me. So I am in the village of Oresh. This is uh, a village which is not far away from a town called Svistov, a good town. And Svistov is only 15 minutes drive away from here. In the village there is a good train station as well, with a proper time scale of the trains, so people can rely on this as well, even if they have no car. So it's a, it's a good place. So you can see it's a, it's a good street here. Well maintained village with few shops, bars and pubs and nice area to be honest i like it and now i want to represent to you this building i tell you this is a building because it's not the house full for sale i mean it's for sale the second floor the whole second floor and the half of the garden i'll show you the half of the garden and the second floor and there is a loft as well attic and there is a good cellar as well good uh, cellar yeah as well so let's go and have a look what we have here first of all before i go into it as always i will show you what we have outside we have this garage and this is where the property starts from this red brick uh, wall start over there up to the green door over there you can see and it's agriculture machines working hard they need it Okay, and it's tried to take off my voice from the video, but I kept quiet. So now back the garage from here up to the green door there, you know, and the second floor. So I want to show you from outside. You can have a look and see, and we can have a quick look of the roof and underneath as well. I'll just show you. Look at this. Okay, so I think it's better now. You can see the full second floor, this side, that side, and the side over there, plus a balcony. You're going to see the balcony. Let me try to show you the roof, if I could zoom it. Uh, the problem is that the sun is sharpening my eyes, but I'm trying to do my best to show you anyway. And the dogs follow me everywhere, you know, the birds and the dogs follow me everywhere. Okay, let me do this now, yeah? I can... Ah, okay, yeah. So I think the roof is in a good condition. Yeah, and the roof is responsibility of the two floors owners, which is good. They can share the... This is one of the advantages. Of course, sometimes this, uh, we can count as a disadvantage that the property has... Uh, one building has two ownership, but uh, anyway... So you can have a look and see the roof. Yeah, looks not looks good. The chimneys looks good. You can see. Yeah, there's another chimney. The rich tiles not bad at all. And so the good thing is that the people who lives in the ground floor, this is their garage and this is their access. For the people we selling now this floor up there, second floor the access is from this side and their garage. So there's a two independent accesses for the property now let me move on this side and hope i can show you the the roof slope up over this side as well and you can see this big chimney there is a heating system local heating system which has been built many years ago and the last time it has been used is 2007 but still the system is there so maybe change the pipes or just change the way the type of a heater so I'll move here, so I don't want the car to kill me. You can see the roof slope here. It's not bad at all. Again, good one. I'll put the zoom back off now and I'll show you underneath. Yeah, the gutters are not bad at all. They look like they are, you can see they look like they are rusty, but they're not. They have been painted in green color, light green color, typical Bulgarian communist color. But it's now the black part of the gutters, the black spot pot of the gutters, they are like um, the, the, the paint is missing there, not because they are rusty. You can see there's not any visible problems with underneath, which is another sign of a good, good roof work has been done. You know, and as I mentioned to you, the one of the advantages is that uh, this one is uh, like share the roof, which is good for the expenses. And the both sides are so interested to do this because it's their property anyway. So now let's go and have a look inside. 
and uh, here we have this axis and you can see the garage I showed you this is the side wall of the garage so it's it's a long long building which not all of it is a garage part of it it's a room here I will show when we when we finish with the garden so all this is guttered properly so the long building is start from there look at the gutters the gutters are in a good condition and a proper concrete brick building finish over there it's garage you know up to here and then it start a room we'll see now so all this is built been built properly not a problem at all you can see the guttering everything no rusty gutters at all i'll show you for now yeah look at this and this is the building this is where the cellar is in the building and here now we are at the garden so look at this let's try to explain you this garden finish here you can see it's finished here and it's fenced fenced so behind the fence is the first floor owners so this fence it's a metal net now with a concrete post which is always can be changed with the um, like not transparent we, you can take off the transparent fence and you can put a proper even brick uh, fence or even it could be a wooden fence so this fence is continue up to over there where there is another street so from this fence all everything here like this out building like there's outside toilet there and there's a few buildings over there with this roof here you can see is belongs to this property you have outside sink here as well so let me show from this side here look at, you can see okay so again the house here quick zoom to show you this underneath and the gutters here we have a few rusty space a rusty things like over there you can see but only this okay so fence up to here all the way to the street then from this fence we move this way we have this sink we have this part there we have this shed here this is a shed you can see a good shed proper with a metal roof and here you can take off all these and you can make a nice garden it's not big i can say it's maybe about 100 square meters maybe about 150 square meters but it's big one so this shed could be this one can be this is the neighbor's wall so this one could be taken off leave part of it and use the other part like you know use the other part for like an outside area sitting area and you can put here you can take off all this stuff if it's me i'll take off all this stuff here leave the sinks but maybe change with the, the the color and construction a bit and then i can put a grass everywhere here so we make a nice nice grassy door you know like grass uh, area here we have a door and it goes up to the street there you can see i'll show you when we go upstairs inside i'll show the the garden exactly but you can see neighbor size including the garage in the room there and this shed okay so now let's go back first and see what we have here this is you can see there's a three-phase electric there so the garage and the room then you have a window you always can make a door here to connect this one and all this shed continue up to the street there the back street and going to this side so it's not that much bad i was expecting to be much smaller but it's good and because you have all these sheds gutters roofs here and these vines here and everything so if you take off this it will be a nice space and you'll have even some you're going to have even some space uh, some view sorry so let's go and have a look at the room here yes so we have this we have an oven old bulgarian oven like a pizza oven beautiful one with a chimney above yeah and the height is not bad it's maybe about two meters high and here we have a nice room called 
Bulgarian people call it Mechana. But it's a room anyway. You can see it is wooden walls, typical communist wooden walls, very modern these days. You know, have a look at this and yeah. So the room is not bad. And the corridor there where I just came in from. I came from here, you see? I came from here, yeah. So look at this, beautiful concrete floor. So this is the access to the shed there, sorry. Access to the shed there, which I said you can make a, like a, just connect it and make a door from there as well if you want. This is depend what, what, what the people looking for. From this side, we come back to the corridor and this is the door we just came into. Here we have a connection with the garage. Nice garage, not too low. And you can see there is a car here, which car you can see how, you know, what is the distance, maybe another 45, 50 centimeters distance from the car roof to the, to the ceiling. And the ceiling is a bit slope like this, deliberately done. And obviously, yeah, that's it. But you can see the entrance, so it's not much. The big car can be going in. Anyway, the garage is here and can be can be used for any anything. If you if you have a big car, maybe you can use this one as a workshop or a storage. So it's not bad at all. Nice proper proper building with these garages. It could be converted to an accommodation apartment or just for parents because it's a one floor. Yeah. Now we go to the house to see inside.